shit. Remember that conversation we had about Lang Builder? Mm -hmm. He took my keys, bro. Don't you think he? Oh, don't you think he? Oh, damn. Damn, Marty. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I guess he. Okay, listen. Some, Marty, you know, just some people just, you know, they grow. Like, some friendship lasts forever. We all know that. But just some people just grow from each other, man. But I, but I, but I. I know, Marty. I know. I know. If anybody knows, I know. Some people just grow apart. And you never realize what it is or what it, what it could have been or how it could have been. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just happened. It's natural. Is Marty it's like, talking shit again? No, he's not talking shit. He's just, he's, I'm usually the one he talks to when he's feeling down and shit. Shit like this is Marty, natural, you Marty. Down? You know. Tell him, Larry. Tell him the cold hard truth. Um, essentially, and I don't want you to sugarcoat it, uh, Mr. Mickey, because uh, you like to sugarcoat things and speaking exclamation points and shit. Um, basically, uh, Barack Obuda does not fuck with Marty Banks anymore. And it's as plain as, as a plain as sight as, uh, him removing those keys just confirmed it. Mm-hmm. And I'm over here teaching them like the ways of life and how friendship is. You know, some people just grow apart. It's natural, like flushing a toilet. It's, it's just conscious. You just it's, it, you're unconscious with it. You just do it sometimes. You don't even realize it. You know what I'm saying? And then you just you get that random Kev, phone Kevin, call. Kevin, Kevin, can you? Kevin. I'm sorry, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, can you, uh... Kevin, can you? Kevin. Yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh yeah, thank you, Kevin. He's a good. He's a good kid. I can't let I can't let my I can't let him see me upset, you know. I know, I know, I know. I, you know, Marty. And you know, and listen, Mickey, you know how much that key meant to me, you know. I worked hard for it. Remember? Mm. You know. You still have keys to the manor. It's not Buddha's to take away from you. You did that job with all of us. We all gave you the keys. It's not Lang's to take. Mickey, when will you be a W friend and just give Marty the keys back and all this? The bullet, I mean, there's still a bullet wound, but at least put a band-aid on that bitch. He's gonna, I wouldn't do that. He's gonna mayorally fuck you. Come on, Marty. Don't give a fuck. Fuck Buddha. Don't, don't say, uh -oh. hey, come on. Uh -oh. now, now, see, now. I heard, now, I heard a rumor. I heard a rumor that if you go in the mirror, turn the lights off and you say fuck Buddha five times, he'll appear and fuck your shit up. You do that weird fucking laugh. <laughs> Yeah. He'll stab you in the back. Larry's on. Why is Larry on here, but Marty, you're not? You see what I'm saying? I told you he relates to me more. I make him feel more at home. Well, it's not about relatable. I don't give a fuck about being goddamn relatable. I goddamn work for that fucking key, bro. Mm, you don't know what I've right. been through. I don't. I know, Marty. You're right. I don't. And I what would was never your know. Role beforehand, Marty? I don't fucking know. Room key, room. I don't remember. I think it was roommate. 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 House key. Yeah. House key. What's your state ID? I don't want it back, Mickey. What's your fucking state ID? Or I'll get fucking Larry to tell me. Nine nine five seven. What? what you... Yay! Let's get it. Marty Mahope here, being well. You earned the key. That's not Lang's to take away. We all did that job together, and that's what you got out of it. But why did he even take it in the first place? What did I do? Hmm. I don't Good know. Question. I told Listen, you. You want to know something? I fucking love. I love Lang. I really do. But sometimes people will do some really dumb shit, and they'll slide by, and he'll. Call them a fucking idiot and slide by it. I do dumb shit, I'll never hear the end of it. That's my reputation with him. I'll never change that. No matter how many times I fuck up or all the good things I do, whenever I fuck up, I'll really be reminded of it. And if I do something good, eh, whatever. But you know what? That's just how it is. And I've come to accept that. And I love Lang. Nonetheless. Nice to see you finally got a backbone, Mickey. Because the stories he told tells me about you, man. We're having a moment and you're just shitting on him? I'm not shitting on him. I'm just letting him know, like, it's about time, because 
Oh my god. Thought about yeah, well, listen, if I was Lang and I thought that the Lakers were going to be doing well this season and I had LeBron on the Lakers and I saw how they did, I'd be taking it out on my friends too. No. See, is that no. what it is? Is that what it is, Larry? Or am I on? No, a, or is he about to put no. me on a copium train? That is not. No, no. So he no, just hates me. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't hate you. And that's another. That's another copium uh, mechanic that um, Mickey is using that he's trying to inflate your mind with. No, that's not it. The truth is, Marty, and Mickey won't ever tell you, but I will. The truth is, Buddha is getting old. I promise you, it, he'd take up going up these steps every goddamn day to come in this rooster is fucking with his gams. His his yams? His gams. What's a gam? The, the, the shit around the you know when old people get that shit around their ankles and shit start turning purple. Mm-hmm. He's getting old. He got he gams. Got, mm-hmm. He ain't got no pep in his step. That's why he got Miss Eve always uh right there next to him shit. Because he, he, he take one he take one cough, he might pass out. That's it. No more Lang Buddha. Uh. Mm-hmm. And I, you know what it is? He probably thought your name was like somebody else's name and he accidentally removed your keys thinking you was somebody else. Because if you really think about it, you know how much shit Baraka Buddha would get? If you would like go deep inside the lore of Marty Banks and Lang Buddha Adventures for him to take that key away from you, you know how much of an L man's Lang Buddha would really be? Now he can say like, oh, I don't really give a fuck. I don't care, blah, blah, blah. But it's about what the people think. It's what about people? what the people think. You what? know, people like Kevin, M me, Mickey, uh, you know, the people. The no, yeah, Marty, you know what? If Lang actually, I don't know what you, what, did you do anything to cause him to remove the keys? The people. The last time we had a conversation and he yelled at me, he was yelling and he said, I made a fortress in the south side with my gas station. Okay. You know, I don't know. Uh, I think, I think Buddha doesn't see me as Marty anymore. He just sees me as Gulag Gang. Does that mm. make sense? Mm. It does. Because I used to spend a lot of time with him, and I don't know. I think, I think he should know that I'm not just. Uh, it all gang. went downhill when you gave GG the codes. Yeah, I think it that is. Went I think that is the the breaking point. That was the the nail to the coffin. And I don't think he when, ever what? forgave you from that. You remember when we were trying to get a bunch of X-Coin for the oil rig? No. Okay, well, we had a point where we were trying to get a bunch of X-Coin for the oil rig, right? And I told Buddha that when I have a claim, I'll take it and I'll give it to him. But if, the, if my gang ever gets a code by themselves, I can't just rip that from their hands, right? And a situation came up where someone got codes to a bank and he wanted to go and get the X coin and I told him no. And ever since then, it, shit has been, uh, he hasn't really talked to me since then. I ain't gonna lie. momentum shift. That Marty, it's more likely than not that he didn't mean to take the keys away. I don't think it's that deep. If you really want my honest take, he's doing other shit right now, man. He's running the city. I know what that was fucking like. I had to fucking do that shit. It was stressful. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Why do you think I kept going on the fucking diplomatic missions? Those weren't diplomatic missions. I was going to Amsterdam to go find hookers in the red light district. 